Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. Let's get over the hump. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. And today, we are doing something a little different. But first, you see this? This shirt right here? This shirt right here? This shirt is in our shop, and this is what I call him as Baby Yoda, but Star Wars called him the child. Spot you, I will. So if you like this shirt, you can get it in the store today. And like I told you guys yesterday, you can get 20% off on this shirt. All you have to do is still use that word cyber in checkout and sign up on the email list. It's going to email you a code. So that's that. Make sure you cop that. So, what are we comparing today? It was kind of hard to try to find some women. So, you know, guys, put that in the comment, like, which women y'all want to see, okay? But today, we have what we're comparing. Get your mouth ready for this one. Get it ready. <laughs> All the knees, gummy bears, and regular gummy bears. You see that? You see that? They're really gummy bears. Have you guys tried these? These taste like sherbet. Really good. These are my go-to when Jay gets them. But what you going with? The sherbet gummy bears, if you try these, or just regular, regular gummy bears. Now, we still got a little something for you guys to compare, but I don't know much about this category. So now I'm going to kick it over to Jay Easy. Peace. AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. A lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about it in. 12 minutes is what we're shooting for, but we might not get there. Check it out, man. Look, you see what the shirt is I got on? But y'all gonna see why in a minute. Check it out, man. Look, what we got to compare today, man. We got the pole up top. So you got the uh, you got the uh, gummy bears and the uh, you know the gummy bears. The, you know the Albanese or extra regular Walmart gummy bears. And then next up we got Kiara Mia or Priya Rai. I say Kiara Mia or Priya Rai. Kiara Mia, the only person to ever they ever get tapped out by the porn star Jimmy G when she was going with him, man. But look, though, we got a couple of things to talk about today, man. And, um, you know, we want to... I'm, 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 I want to begin this off on a serious, serious note, man. Um, because I'm, I'm, every now and then, I'm going to bring you guys some different news stories. So just be mindful of this. Amazon is doing everything they can to try to cover this up. Because you, go, you do Google searches, you can't really find anything. You do Reddit posts and all that. That stuff is out of here, man. But look, this report came out, uh, looks like it was uh, two days ago. And they were saying that Amazon is, is, is Amazon workers are on protest, I guess not on strike. They are, they, damn it, they're on strike. And it's because they saying uh, human rights, you know, human rights, human beings, not robots, while workers are protesting, you know, on Cyber Monday. I'm going to play you this little quick snippet reel here, right here, and then we're going to go from there. Well, for the protests, I can tell you those are small events and they are not representative of the thousands of people who love working for Amazon, many of them right here in Robbinsville, and who have great jobs, competitive pay, comprehensive benefits. And I can tell you here at Amazon, like I said, the folks working at our fulfillment centers, these are the heart and soul of our company. All right, sweetheart, I'm going to cut you off right there. Yes, the people working at the fulfillment centers, they are the heart and soul of the company, but y'all ain't treating them like that. And they can try to hide this as much as they want to, but I've been ordering stuff off of Amazon all week, and ain't none of it shipped. Not now, one. Not a now, none of them shipped. And they sit here trying to act like it's not that serious, and it's just an isolated incident, but it's not. Everything I'm ordering, I, I don't know if you guys run, we, you know we run a small business, we run a t-shirt business, right? People that run those run small businesses, we often rely on Amazon to fulfill our orders, and we rely on their Amazon Prime so we can get things. We can order things as we need them, and we can get the free shipping so we don't incur extra costs, so we don't have to pass that extra cost on to the customer. Case in point, okay, the sheets that I use to buy the to, to print uh to print on and press these shirts. Uh, these sheets probably cost, well, I don't know how much, I can't think how much they cost right off the bat, but I order them from Amazon, and they normally get here in a couple of days. 
everything on Amazon right now. If you think I'm playing, go to Amazon right now. Everything on Amazon says it's gonna be delivered on December 9th. I looked at every product. I changed my Prime Day, I did everything. Everything says December 9th. So if it's an isolated incident, then you know why 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 is it why is this happening? It's not an isolated incident. It's much bigger than they're telling you. And um we we Bridget and I, we we do uh Amazon Flex or whatever. And um, we, we, so we got access to the flex groups and all the stuff. These people have been talking about this strike for a minute. And it is, they, they, they are going on strike. It is what it is. Ain't nobody delivering stuff. I ain't seen the Amazon truck in two days around here. I don't know. Let me know if, you, if you've ordered something from Amazon and you still haven't gotten it yet. Because I just think like, look, the, let's, let's see how much. How much does Jeff Bezos make, make per day? Makes per day. Let's look at this. It says Jeff Bezos, he makes uh, the per hour, he makes eight million dollars an hour. So let's say, look at this. Let, 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 we just gonna calculate this out now. Calculate this out. It says he makes eight hundred eight million nine hundred sixty-one thousand one hundred eighty-seven dollars an hour. Multiply that times twenty-four. Two hundred and fifteen million dollars a day. My brother. One day salary for you. I don't know if you got islands and stuff and all that other stuff, because you know rich people don't like to share their money and stuff. I mean, you can't spend it there and keep it. One day of salary could fix all the salaries in the entire company. Two days of salary could fix all the health benefits. A whole weekend you done fix the entire problem across the whole thing. And then they like you can't even take breaks and stuff like that. All that, look, man. I, 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 all I'm gonna tell you is this. Damn. They have time bathroom breaks, bro. And it's Working not 12, time. and it's not enough time. Right. And back to his spot because they get deducted off their property. Yeah, and, and if you do that, and you might get deducted, and then when you do it, it's like, uh, like okay, it's, this is it's just taking advantage of people who need jobs. That's really all it is. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't need the flex job, so it is what it is. But there are some people that do. And then, you know, you're thinking you're making $15 an hour or so, and they just raised that up. Like, bro, this, ain't, this is not a good look for a company like Amazon. Because these people are people. They're not robots. You can't work a 12-hour shift. Here in Georgia, what, you get a 15-minute break every three hours is what you're entitled to. And if you work eight hours, you get a, uh, if you work, if you work eight hours, you get um, a 30-minute or you get an hour lunch break. So I think they're getting, but they're only getting a 30-minute lunch break. So they, you're supposed to get two, in, in an eight-hour shift, you're supposed to get two 15-minute breaks and you're supposed to get a 30-minute break. So you get one hour and then some places will give you just an hour lunch break and you don't get no 15s. I used to take my 15s in, 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 in an hour. So, you know, a lot of them will leave it up to you if you want to take the extra 30 minutes and work an extra 30 minutes, that's up to you. But they're working 12 hour shifts, so they should be getting three 15 minute breaks and they should be getting a 30 minute lunch break or an hour lunch break if they elect to. And they, and they probably signed some type of contract coming in the door and they know what they're getting into, but this is still not right. because Just because I don't have the problem don't mean that I can't bring awareness to it. And it doesn't mean, it definitely doesn't mean that I shouldn't be fighting for the rights of those people who have this, who, who actually have this problem. It's messed up, man. But I don't already spend too much time on that. Jeff, do the right thing, man. And they, I'm trying, I'm telling you, you try to Google search this stuff, they, they just straight burying it. You can't even hardly find it. But obviously those people are not happy and uh, they need to do something about that. Anyway, I done spent too much, too long on Amazon. Let's get to something lighter. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, about that down in the comments. Look at here. Your boy Bass Plug, you now been plugged in. Your boy Bass Plug made it the legend. And uh, it looks like he did it the right way, slashing playmaker, throwing lobs, going to the rack, and doing all that good stuff, man. Your boy, he out there. Bass plug is now a legend. You've been plugged in. And uh, he, hey, look, he got that coyote ugly on there. But look at that, 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 boy. I say, look at that coyote ugly, that boy. Uh, up next, bro. Shop DF. I know this is old news, but look. This is awesome because 2K is trying to do something. Look, look at that. I'm so excited to announce that I have a bundle that just dropped with 2K. You you get 45,000 uh, VC, uh, 25 of each skill boost, and five of each Gatorade, uh, you know, for $10. Usually $10 just gets you 35,000 VC alone. Limited time only. Now, it doesn't say limited quantity. It says limited time. Now, if you go, you follow the link, um, you follow the link, to Xbox and it actually will show you here 
it shows you here when you follow the link. It says this is good through December 31st for a limited time. This is the Get Fresh Pack with Chop. Now, as it stands at this current moment, the, it's glitched out because when you buy it, you're not only getting uh, all of that. Somebody said it's doubling everything up, but this is what I want y'all to see that it's doubling up. I say I want y'all to see that it's doubling this up. I bought that pack two times, two times, two times, and I got 200,000 VC. I'm about to get on Xbox and make my player, and we about to go crazy in this mug. Boy, I might buy that thing five times, five times, five times. And then, and it, it says, so it says it's doubling everything up. Uh, according to the people, but I'm just telling you this is proof. I bought it. I ain't gonna lie to you I, I couldn't wait to get to my PayPal and buy this joint and say hey 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 say hey at least I'll get you know 4,500 you're not getting you're not getting 90,000 VC you're getting a hundred thousand VC 50 skill boost on each category and 10 of each Gatorade it's doubling everything up so this if you have if you got a new player you want to try to make a new player this is the time to do it right now and like I said I'm going over to uh I'm I'm I'm, I'm going over to Xbox so I'm gonna be making my player so y'all gonna see me playing with brutal sim on the scene we get that mean with a next informative video I just wanted to show y'all proof that it works Damn it, I just wanted to show y'all proof that it works, but I was so crunk last night when I got on that thing, boy. And I found a way to play with my scuff controller on the Xbox. And uh, since I can't order the thing, the Cronus Magnus, off of Amazon, for obvious reasons, Jeff, since I can't order it for obvious reasons, I had to figure out a way to do this. And I, and I can't buy the Brook device either, which is what I was trying to get. But anyway, like I said, hey. I'm going to be on Xbox. I'm probably going to be bringing that 3 and D guards. Y'all see, y'all saw Poe Boy CN tweet out about the 3 and D guard. Let me show y'all that right quick. Because y'all think I be hating. I say y'all think I be hating. We got Poor Boy CN. He was going through a lot of bills. And this is what he said right here about my bill. This is it. Right here. This is it. It, 3 and D point. The GOAT himself. The legend himself. 3 and D point. This is it. This is the bill that I told y'all is the best off ball bill bar none since the beginning of the year. But hey, Jay, eh, Jay, you're not good at the game. You can't dribble. You can't do this. You can't do that. Well, guess what? Somebody that's better than all of us at the game said that this is it. Damnations. So guess what? What you gonna tell saying he ain't good? You ain't gonna tell him, oh, yeah, you can't dribble, you can't. No, the three and D point is the best off guard ball, off ball bill in the game, bar none. You're locking people up, you're hitting threes at a high clip, and when it's necessary, you can dribble the ball and do some things, and you can go to the rim, lay, go to the rim, dunk, you can do all that stuff. Anyway, man. One more thing. We got a couple more things. I'm going to let y'all get up out of here. James Harden last night, brother. Look at this right here. At first glance, it looks like he went to the rim. Right! And it looks like he missed the dunk. But upon further review, upon further review, it went in, and then it just came around, and it wrapped around the net. Can count that, or it's not? Yes, it's a bucket. Okay. But in the game, for whatever reason, they didn't review it. They didn't, uh, they didn't review it. Uh, they didn't bring it back they didn't do anything so the only thing they did during the game is uh they just they decided that they wanted to um during the game they decided to just not count the point now if you saw the game and if i'm desync it looks like i'm desync to me but I, I don't know if i'm desync but I, I ain't gonna worry about it okay now we sync back up in the game it looks it looks like this is what ended up happening they uh they didn't count the bucket they ended up going to overtime and and you know they're gonna protest the game but they lost in double overtime now my coach now now you know they, they're gonna they said they're gonna protest the game but they're saying the nba gonna try to make them play it over because they feel like they wouldn't have had to go to overtime because they would have been up too you can't when when something like that happens with that much time left on the clock my guy you can't tell what would have happened in the game 
y'all might not have called time out. You can't say what would have happened. This ain't like football where you had to drive the, the length of the field. Who's to say they wouldn't have hit a three and y'all wouldn't have lost by one? So normally in situations like that, they're going to play the game over and stuff like that. But I want y'all to let me know. Do y'all think they would have won that game? I mean, James Harden did shoot four for 20 from three and 11 for 38 on the game. Now, he had 50 points in double overtime. But come on, my guy, you're not telling me like two points ain't the difference. Two points would have been the difference, but you can't tell me that that two points would have been the difference. That's on that side. The fairest thing to do, meet again, play it from that point with seven minutes left, and then we're going to go from that. But with seven minutes left, bro, two points ain't. I mean, they had already came back from 20 down. You let a team back in the game from damn near 20 down, hey, that's on you right there, bro. And then you just fizzled out in overtime. That's it. But from the other direction, we can review everything else. Why can't we review that? Come on, NBA, y'all got to do better, man. We all have to do better. We got to do better. We got to push forward, try to figure out how we can make the product be better. Even though you might not lose, you may not use the, um, you might not even use the, re the review rule, but, uh, but so much, but come on, man. Like you can't, you can't have something like that. You already stopped the game. They already reviewed it. The ball did go in. Why on earth, why on earth would we not go ahead and just review that and say, hey, you know what? We made a mistake. Oh, that's why, because you would have to admit that you made a mistake. Okay, now I get it. So we're so arrogant that we don't make mistakes now. When I make a mistake on this channel, I come back and say, you know what? I made a mistake. Just like yesterday with that video, I said I had on Steph Curry pull up. I didn't have it on. I had on number four. I said, you know what? That's my mistake. Let me change it up and then we'll do it. When you make a mistake, just admit you made a mistake. Keep going. We're going to love you anyway, baby. That's just how it goes. Admit you made a mistake. Get that part right. And even if they lose the game anyway, it ain't because of that. It is what it is, man. Last but not least. This is for everybody that said, ah, ah, Mello, Mello back, but he ain't doing nothing. That's why we wearing the Rip City shirt, baby. My guy, Carmelo Anthony, Lala's, uh, well, I guess the, since I had Lulu, since I had my, uh, my, uh, that's my sister's husband, since I'm Luda with the braids. Luda, my sister's husband, Carmelo Anthony, player of the week. Look at this boy. Look at what he even did this week with D. Lillard. And uh, and he he done got in. They done blended perfectly so far. A perfect 3-0 week. 22.3 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds, and 2.7 assists. That's a little bit high for you, Melo. We don't need you passing the ball that much. We going to pass the motherfucker to you. Shoot it. Don't even worry about passing it back. My boy is, is, is player of the week. And in honor of him, we got the Rip City shirt up in the shop. I, I had the shirt up there, but I didn't want to put it up there until my boy showed out. And now he done show he entire ass. He done did it. Y'all let me know. That's all we got for y'all now in the video, man. You guys let me know. Do you like me? Should I just keep it NBA 2K related? Or should I talk about some real world topics as well, man? Because I can't, I couldn't help that this morning. We need the people from Amazon, even though they did take the job. A lot of times we say, you took the job, you did this, you did that. But some people out there doing the best they can. My mother was a school aide teacher, a school aide. She's now a teacher. She went back to college, got a degree, got, got everything. But she did that after we all left and we were all out of high school. She couldn't do that while we were in school. So for the first 13 years of my life, I think my mother made like $5 an hour. Back then, minimum wage was like $4.25. She made $5 an hour. That was it. And then she quit. And then she became a stay-at-home mom to get us out of school because I was having trouble in school, behavior and all this stuff. She got us out of school, went back to college, and now she's a teacher and she makes a good salary. But she couldn't help what she made back then. How you gonna raise your children on $5 an hour with no benefits? It was on my daddy's job to do everything else. So they put a big burden on him and he had to do everything. And that ain't fair. You got to pay people good wages. Now you can say it's on her for not going to school, but stuff happens. I'm glad that she decided to take care of us instead of working a, a, a weak ass $5 an hour job. But do you know the amount of lives that she impacted being a teacher's aide? She was, she did that. She did special education and all that. I can't tell you the amount of people that come up to me and say, your mama was the best teacher at the school. 
your mama, I love her so much. That's Miss, that's Miss Smith's son. Go, go, you know, he's fine. You know, don't mess with him, this and that. You, I can't tell you how many people's lives she impacted and how, how many people love her to this day because she's chose to take that job with lesser pay. So let's not just discount people taking jobs with lesser pay, man. That Nobody deserves that, man. They deserve to do better. And that's why it touches me in a special place. Anyway, we gone, man. Kiera Mia, Priya Rai. Kiera Mia, Priya Rai. Y'all let me know. And I'm out. Godspeed.